Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, actually earlier in the week, a new event went live in the Armory. It's not a new event, it's an older event that they brought back. That's, of course, the Journey to the West event. It's been up for most of the week now. I've just had a really hectic week and I didn't really see that it was live until today. So, we're going through this event and overall, it's actually a pretty decent event when it comes to the sequential bundles that Wargaming seems to be in love with now. In terms of pricing as such, it's actually not terrible. There's just one thing that they kind of dangle in front of your face here at the end of the event, and that's that Tier 7 Premium container. Of course, that's a guaranteed Tier 7 Premium ship. Now, in terms of value, technically, technically it's actually all here. All in all, if you want to get every single thing in this sequential bundle set, it will cost you 8,581 doubloons, which is about, I think that's a little under, what, 40 bucks worth of doubloons. So I think that's like 38, 39, maybe 40 on the dot uh, doubloons, uh, dollars worth of doubloons. So on the surface, it looks pretty good, but when you take a closer look at it, you see that most of the items that you get in this event are of course distributed via containers and containers as we all know well taking a bit of a gamble there so we're going to take a look at the event today lay it all out for you guys so you guys can see exactly what's in this event so if you find yourself enjoying the video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe to the channel it helps out on the youtube side of things now Again, as we go into this list, most of the prices are actually pretty decent for what you're getting. For example, the first bundle, just a Journey to the West normal container, not a premium container, costs 99 dubs. And you have a chance, very small chance, of getting one of the Journey to the West ships. So those four are the Baji, the Wujing, the Wukong, and the Sanjang. Now, right here out of the gate already, only really one of these ships, in my opinion, are even worth getting. That's the Baji. The Baji is TLDR, a more accurate Izumo. Uh, the Izumo is already a really darn good ship, in my opinion. She's come a long way since her first int introduction into the game. And this one's just more accurate. It's a more accurate Izumo. And, yeah, that's a really good ship to have. Uh, the Wujing is just an all sauce clone, nothing is different. Wukong's a Charles Martel with deep water torpedoes, and that's kind of like, uh, okay. And the Sanjang is just a Saipan. So, out of those four, Baji, in my opinion, is the only one worth getting, and again, you're not even guaranteed to get the Baji. So, besides a uh, chance of getting one of those ships, a very low chance of getting one of those ships in this container, uh, you also have a 2% chance to get some blue boosters, one of the four blue bo boosters, a 2% chance to get. 250 doubloons, then 2,000 coal, got an 8% chance of that, and then 10% chance of one of the green boosters, 14% chance of 5,000 free XP, then a 27% chance of one day of, of premium time. So again, depending upon what you get, um, could be well worth the 99 dubs, could not be. Again, that's up to the roll of the die. Obviously, if you do somehow manage to get a Baji, or even one of these uh, premium ships, that's obviously you know, quite a bit of value. These are tier 8 and tier 9 premium ships. But yeah, even if you do get like a day of premium time, or 5,000 free XP, it's, it's pretty decent. And then the other major thing in these sequential bundles are these special bonuses containers. Uh, on the lower end, they're mostly green and blue, but you do get one of the red ones right before you get the last container. And obviously, uh, these you're going to get one of the boosters. So, in the green ones, you're going to get one of the green credit ship XP, commander XP, and free XP boosters. In the blue one, you're going to get one of the blue credit ship XP, commander XP, and free XP boosters. And obviously, the red one, you can get one of those red commander ship XP credits, free XP boosters as well. And you get two of these, two of the green ones, in the second bundle, and that's only 88 dubs. Pretty good deal there. And then you get two days of premium time for one doubloon in the third bundle. That's really darn good right there. So out the gate, the first three bundles, absolutely worth it in my opinion. Uh, the fourth set, that's where you come across one of those blue booster bundles. Well, blue booster containers. The fifth one, you get 2,000 coal. 
for 99 doubloons. In my opinion, that's pretty worth it as well, because coal you can get like 1400 a day just in the containers for free. You can pick up 2000 here for 99 doubloons. So if you have doubloons laying around, pretty good deal here. Then in the sixth set, you get two of the Journey to the West containers, which again, just like beforehand, depending upon what you roll, you could get something that's well worth it or something that's kind of meh. You get two of them here for 139 doubloons. Again, still well worth the cost here. As you can see, for the first like half of this list, it's actually all pretty darn affordable. And then when you get to the seventh bundle, you can, well, you can, you will get the signals pack, which includes five of all the combat signals. So 199 doubloons there. Granted, these are for free in the store. Uh, they sell them in 20 packs in the armory. And... Uh, for credits, so they're technically free if you can grind the credits out, uh, but you can get five of all of them here for 199 doubloons. Again, at this point, I think you've spent, shoot, maybe a little over a thousand doubloons at this point. So then when we get to the eighth slot, you get your first premium Journey to the West container. Now these premium containers have a better chance of dropping those ships, so they have a 10% chance of dropping the Baji, Wujing, Sanjiang, or the Wukong and a 10% chance for the blue boosters, 5% chance for 1250 du dubs, 8% chance for 12,500 coal, 10% chance for 32,000 free XP, 11% chance for 99,000 commander XP, and a 16% chance for 8 days of premium time. Again, for 259 dubs, and at this point, having spent uh, maybe 2,000 doubloons now, pretty good. Uh, for, but for me, the prices start to ramp up, you, did, you then get your second set of blue boosters for 299 dubs. You get two of these, and again, that's guaranteed to get at least two of the blue boosters. And you get um, three of them. <laughs> three boosters. Yeah, God. Uh, two million credits for 359 dubs in the 10th slot. The 11th slot, you then get two of the Journey to the West Premium containers. Which again, you have a higher chance of getting those Journey to the West premium ships. Twelfth slot is 40,000 free XP for 459 doubloons. Thirteenth slot is a super container. Now, obviously the super containers do have the chance to drop uh, premium ships, but it's a very slim chance. You have a 1.5% chance of dropping a premium ship. Then you have a 0.05% chance of getting a rare premium ship. Or a tier 10, so like the Thunderer, Salem... Z39, those type of ships, 0.05%. You have a 0.2% chance to get a tier 8 to 9 premium ship, then 1.25% chance to get a tier 5 to tier 7 premium ship. What you're probably likely going to get out of this is some uh, blue or green economic boosters. Um, every now and then I do get lucky and get the 1500 steel, and then I think I've got the 15,000 coal a couple of times, so you're likely not going to get a premium ship out of this, but if you somehow have RNG on your side, you can. The 14th uh, bundle gives you how many? Eight of the Journey to the West containers, not the premium ones, the normal ones, and that's 599 doubloons. 15th slot gives you 100,000 Elite Commander XP for 699 doubloons, and then... The 16th slot gives you three of the premium Journey to the West containers for 799 doubloons. 17th slot, 17,000 coal for 899 doubloons. 18th slot, two of the red boosters packs. And again, you have a chance to get one of the four red boosters. You get three of them, and you get two crates for that. And these are those crazy boosters that basically you enter the game, press W, you've made profit. Then finally, after all of that, you get the premium tier 7 ship container, where you're guaranteed to get a tier 7 premium ship. So, this costs 2,000 doubloons, by the way. <laughs> so, for most of this bundle up until this point, you've only spent about 6,000 doubloons, which honestly, I mean, 6,000 doubloons for what you get for you're going to get a ton of economic bonuses i can tell you that out of the gate here because that's just what these containers like to give up it's probably gonna be a lot of the green ones because you have the best chance of getting those throughout most of the containers except for of course the the blue and the red containers so for six thousand blooms i mean 
even if you just get an average roll, it's stuff that's more than likely worth the 6,000 doubloons. But this is obviously what most players see. They see this tier 7 premium container at the end of this bundle. And again, to get to this point, you have to have spent 6,000 doubloons, and then to get this container, 1,999 doubloons, bringing your grand total up to 8,581 doubloons. So, 8,581 doubloons is just shy of what a tier 7 actually cost. If you take a look in the armory, and you go over to ships for dubs, set your filter to tier 7, you'll see that uh, the average cost of a tier 7 premium is around 8,000 doubloons. Uh, the battleships cost around 9,800 up to 10,000 if you're looking at things like the Duke of York and the Hood, uh, which are two of the best in my opinion. And you get down to the cruisers, they're more along the 9,000, 8,000 range. Then you get down to the DDs, and some of the DDs are only 5,000, like the Bushwicka and the Sims. So, yeah, I mean, technically, sure. Just looking at the tier 7 container by itself, it's a pretty good deal. And even if you throw in all of the other bundles and such, you are coming in a couple thousand doubloons underneath the average cost of a tier 7 premium. But, you could also just throw in 2,000 more doubloons in, in your purchase and get to choose which tier 7 premium you're going to get. Because sure, you're going to get a tier 7 premium... But it might be an FR-25, it might be a Yudachi, might not be a Duke of York, a really good tier 7 premium, or an Ashitaka, another really good tier 7 premium, or a Shonors, an excellent tier 7 premium. You might get a Strasbourg, or a Florida, or a Yukon. So yeah, or a Collinwood, that, that one's also not great either. So, my two cents on this, guys, if you got like, you know... 10,000 dubs lying around, you're not playing them buying a tier 7 premium, sure, I think the event's actually worth it. If you've got the dubs laying around and you want to resupply on your signals and your boosters and such and probably get a, a fair amount of coal and some pre-premium, not well not free, but some premium days out of it. But if you're looking at this and you're looking at that tier 7 container at the end, don't fall for that. That's always what, and it's not just wargaming, every, every video game company does this help companies real life companies do this you know they, they, they dangle something in front of your face that you got to jump through hoops to get through or spend way more money than you would like to spend on said item so if you want a tier 7 premium just buy the tier 7 premium you want don't gamble with your money it's much it's much much more worth it to just throw the couple of extra thousand doubloons at the game and get the ship that you want rather than again get stuck with like an fr25 or a yadachi or a Yukon. Guys, my two cents on this event. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I know I'm a little late to cover it, but it's just been a very hectic week for me this week. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will be live streaming here tonight on the channel and on Twitch around 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time, so make sure to come out for that here on the channel and on Twitch. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.